Hey y'all, remember I told you I think of random stuff? <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to a friend's gathering. We're all gonna go and celebrate his birthday. Um, so anyway, I don't know why it popped in my, things just be popping in my head and I don't know why that happens. It's just weird and random. But back in the day when I was on the site, on a dating site, which is a mating site, it's not for dating. Um, your chances of finding a date are slim to none. It's kind of like hitting the lottery. You have to have two people who are serious in the same space and time. Chances of that are slim to none. So anyway, move right along. This guy had a foot fetish. And I don't know if I showed a picture of my feet on the site or something. I don't really know. But honey, he lost his mind. And I thought to myself, because I try to be considerate of other people's quirks, which is sometimes to my detriment, okay? Anyway, um, I thought, you know, I can't really judge him for that. People have their weird quirks or whatever. But then I realized that he was kind of like guys who only think about boobs and butt or long legs or whatever it is that their weakness is. You are irrelevant and the fetish is more relevant. You just happen to be part of the equation that they don't have any control over. So you are, they try to minus you out of the picture and only fo focus on your physicality. Well, the guy with the feet fetish is no different. He's not interested in me. He's only interested in my feet. And that was creepy. And so I stopped talking to him. <sighs> Ladies, ladies, when we start to see red flags, we have to run. And I ran because I can't do that. If I'm going to be minus the equation and my feet are the most important thing, I got to go. <laughs> it's just too weird for me. It's just creepy and weird. So, yeah, I, I got rid of that situation. But anyway, going to have a little get together today and I'm excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right, you guys take care. Bye.